Alright, it's Darker aka the Black Christmas and Mayhem TV live in effect and we're here with the New York general, you get me? Legend in the game, you get me? You already know, salute me and shoot me. You know, my son, you get me? Well going for your stay in the UK man, it's good to see that you've touched down in thing, you get me? It's good to be here man, you know the UK showed me a lot of love, every shit we did out here. Been crazy, they've been showing me love. You know, it's it's, it's like humbling, you know, to know that you have this many fans across the world, you know, I'm just a, a kid from the Bronx, so when you come out here and you got fans in UK, it's like, damn, you know, and I really appreciate the love, so I'm just enjoying it. See, yeah, man, I see that you've been getting it in and whatnot on all the different shows and whatnot. People have been going to the merchandise stand and buying your, your mixtape and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. I mean, a lot of people have supported the music, period, like, they come to, after every show, they come in for more music, they want to know where they can find me, like, you know, so, I'm just happy, man, I'm really happy that people are just responding like that, man, because I put a lot into my music, so, it's always good when people, you know, respect it, when you put a lot into it. So, how did you, um, I know it's, you might have heard this question a lot of time, but, how did you hook up with the game or whatnot, for those that don't know? Well, I've been doing music for years, man, and um, I was incarcerated after my original music, and um, I came back home in late 96, I mean 2006, excuse me, and um, I've been grinding like ever since, hard, hard, like rebuilding that, um, not trying to just feed off the energy I had before I got locked up. I just wanted to rebuild and revamp myself and recreate myself. So I utilized the internet as a, a major venue to, you know, to um, to navigate and build my, the awareness of my music and um, game. It actually, the DJ that was DJing with him, DJ Hayes, Hayes had um, reached out to me and told me um, that he wanted to find me. That he won the game, wanted me to join the, the um, Black Wall Street. So I told him, you know, I, I, I wasn't, actually, I didn't even believe him. I was like, tell Game to call me, and then we'll talk about it. The next day, Game called me. We had like an hour long conversation. He told me what he wanted to do, you know, that he was feeling the music, and, you know, he just always felt that I was a dope artist, and he just wanted to be the person that helped co sign that, you know, and just wanted to see him be successful, and, you know. Be to feed my family, and that was like real shit to me. The next three days, he flew me out to LA, and we were just working, and it's just been like, it's been like family slash, you know, brotherhood, like ever since the beginning. It's just been real shit, so. Now we here, man. He said, I'm gonna take you on tour, we on tour. So, at this point, man, did what he said he was gonna do for me, man, so I don't got nothing but love and respect for it. I got the heaters all stashed, speakers on blast, pumping my shit. They CDs is all trash, full of hard knocks. I'm teaching y'all class, so you might could survive these streets if y'all pass. If not, no way you gon' last. I advise you to step on them brakes for y'all crash, y'all disguise. I see straight through y'all mass. I'ma keep both feet knee deep in y'all ass. Yeah, man. Boy, I wanted you to touch up onto some subjects in it, like. You being a like a, a vet in the in the mixtape game, mm -hmm. like a lot of the UK cats look up to like the mixtape cats in in the US and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Can you just uh, express the emphasis and the importance of the mixtape game? Oh, it's, it's, it's very important because you know, like we're in a different era right now. And album sales is not really cutting it, and um, the mixtape game is important because. It reaches out to a fan that normally is not going to, to you know, to, to the, the the record store to buy an album, or it's not going to download. They don't have credit cards, you know. They walk into the average mixtape to see what's going on and who's hot, and it's, it creates awareness amongst real true fans, you know, pop pop fans go out and buy the songs they hear on the radio all day or the, the songs they see on MTV, you know. It's a venue for true artists and up and coming artists and underground artists. It's a venue to where people get to hear you. Like when people might go buy a mixtape that they want to hear somebody else. It's a song with yours on it. And it just it, it makes it just makes it that much easier for you to be able to market yourself and be able to be heard by different. Excuse me. 
different walks of life in different places, man. So it's, it's essential. It is essential, to, I believe. You heard what my man said. It's essential. You get me, like. Especially so, when you when you're a true artist and you and you're selling music, not bullshit. Like when you're selling lyricism and artistry and creativity, right? It, it, it's, it's essential for you to establish yourself on the mixtape circuit. For real, for real, for real. There's a lot of um, UK cats doing their thing and whatnot. If they want to hit you up to get like verses, features, and whatnot, how would they go about getting that? Um, you can hit my mess, my manager. Hit her up on Twitter is in us we trust. I think um, the email is Jennifer Alvarez at gmail.com. You can find her. You know, she usually sets all that up. Unless if you run into me personally and we build some type of point, then you know we'll figure it out and. And it'll still navigate back to her, but that's mainly the best thing to do is just contact her. Because I'll be just overwhelmed doing so much stuff, so she organizes that and puts that in perspective. And have you got any newer projects dropping that we can anticipate? Um, I got Definition of a G Part 2, hosted by DJ Scream, about to drop in another month, as soon as the tour is over. Then I got Autobot Music 2 with me and Green Lantern, about to drop. Probably right after definition of G two, so those are my next two projects. Okay, all right. I know you've got, you've heard it. You get me, my son, the U S general. You get me, New York Tell general. Me shoot me, fuck with us, but don't fuck with us. Money gang, bitch. <laughs> <laughs>